Hello and welcome to our next episode of Optic Trade Debates. Today we are going to debate a little bit about the Pulsar Core series of products. My name is Theodor. My name is Tadej. Hello. And we will go through the most common questions we receive by emails and uh, in comments on YouTube channel and on all other fields. So today, let's begin. So my first question to you, Theodore, is uh, we have four Pulsar cores here, uh, which is what is the model range of uh, these four devices? Well, uh, Pulsar makes four devices which are basically just two devices with a little bit of different uh, features. So they, if I go through, they make the 35 model, the 55 model, 38 model and 50 model. The whole name is uh, Pulsar Core uh, FXQ uh, 35, uh, 55, 38 or 50 um, <coughs> device. Well, basically those devices are in pairs. The 35 model and the 38 models are completely the same up to this part. Then what is different? The difference is that the 38 model comes with this really short, nice uh, monocular, an eyepiece, mm -hmm. which gives you 3 time magnification with it. While the 35 model comes with this long 5 time uh, magnifying uh, eyepiece, which gives you a little, more, uh, a little bit more of magnification when this device is used as mm -hmm. a monocular. However, it gives you a really uh, much bigger size. So, as you probably know, these devices are... Uh, it's possible to use them in two ways. Uh, you can use them as a monocular, so that you observe uh, the surroundings with them, or you can use them on daytime optics. Uh, you can use them on binoculars, on uh, spotting scopes and so on. <coughs> in some countries where this is allowed, there is, there is a couple of countries in EU where this is allowed, you can even use them on your rifle scope. So mm -hmm. this core gives you the ability to convert your daytime rifle scope to a thermal rifle scope. But okay. only in countries where, where this is allowed. I understand. So these devices which you mentioned, which you can uh, <coughs> install on the day device, Mm -hmm. They don't have a reticle uh, no. itself. In they the come device. without a reticle uh, and they work like a normal uh, thermal monocular, if you wish. If you put them on your uh, daytime optics, you can use them again as a, as a normal uh, thermal monocular, if you put them on the binoculars, but with a much higher magnification. If you put them on a rifle scope, I repeat once more, only where this is allowed, where the laws allow it, then you can convert your rotoscope into thermal. Uh, so if I go back to the, to the differences, so the 35 and uh, 38 models, they are basically the same. They come with a 38 millimeter lens. Uh, they come with the same sensor, 384 by 288, uh, 50 Hertz uh, uh, of a refresh rate. And the main difference is normally in the eyepieces. Uh, when this device is used on, on, uh, on a daytime optics, then if you have a 35 model, you just put the adapter on this bayonet and put on the daytime optics. With a 38 model, you have to remove the eyepiece and then you get this intermediate part which you have to install between the device and and the the uh, daytime scope so then you put the on this bayonet you put the adapter on a data scope so in this form factor both devices are almost identical okay so this is for the, the 35 and 38 what about the 30 what about the 50 and the 55 so the 55 and the 50 <coughs> are completely the same in oh. basics this is the it works on the same principle if you wish to 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 acquire a device with a small uh, with a small eyepiece uh, with a smaller eyepiece which is easier to handle and so on then you go with a 50. Mm -hmm. If you are using the device much more commonly on the daytime optics on the rifle scope or anywhere where you wish then you go with a 55 model because uh, this part is then already attached permanently attached to the device. This is very interesting. Um... You said that these devices are, these devices are um, we can say, very similar to each other, but mm -hmm. why are they being manufactured uh, separately? 
I would say that mostly because this uh, area, these devices are um, licensed differently in different parts of Europe and because laws in different parts of Europe are very different regarding this, um, this type of devices. And I think this is the main reason why they are producing them with an permanently attached this middle part <coughs> and with a removable uh, part. Also in handling, I would say if you're using the device mostly on your daytime optics, yeah. then this type with the permanently attached, uh, this intermediate part is probably more suitable. But if you're using it as a monocular, uh, then I like it much more in a, this compact form with, uh, with only the short eyepiece. Uh, but I would say that probably, most probably the, the reason why they are produced, I would say only two de devices in four different flavors, I would say is mostly because of the, of the laws you know, on different markets and the needs <coughs> of different markets. So it's all about laws really in this? I would say yes, because technically these devices are completely the same. Yes, yes, uh, very interesting. So technically they are really, really almost identical. It only, the only difference is in, in this attachment. So either you have it like this or you have it like this. Mm. If I, if I <coughs> do it like this and then you have uh, two different options for, for, uh, for the eyepiece. So basically I would say that uh, it, it all goes down to what you prefer uh, what type of use you prefer. If you're mm. using it mostly as a monocular, then this type is okay. Yes. If you're using it mostly on a daytime optics, then this type with permanently attached is more suitable. So they're really all very interchangeable, we can say. Yeah, yeah. Um, my next question to you would be, uh, to for which customers or potential buyers would you recommend uh, F um, the 38 model? Okay, this is the main difference I would say 35 and uh, 38 are identical if you look from the point of view of the objective, of mm -hmm. the optical performance, of everything. So if you're using it as a monocolor, it's normally go with a 38 because you have a smaller eyepiece and it's more compact. Mm -hmm. If you're using it on a daytime optics, if you come from a, from a country where this is maybe even a lot to, to use it on a, on a rifle scope, then 38 and 35 models will be more suitable for those who do most of their observation on shorter distances because they offer wider field of view. So that means if you're observing animals or any other objects on let's say up to 60, 70 meters, you have an advantage of a wider field of view on these smaller devices. If however <coughs> you prefer to see the details better, if you, if you prefer better resolution, if you prefer uh, higher uh, magnifications because you, if, when these devices are used on, on daytime optics with a 50 and 55 model, well, with the 55 and 50 model, yeah. you can use higher magnification. So if you're more into the details and if you're observing objects which are a little bit farther away, then the bigger models are better because you get a better resolution and uh, you can use higher magnification. Normally, when you observe objects which are really close, you are limited with a, with a point of, uh, with a field of view which is just not comparable with a, with a smaller So really for animals. someone who is really looking to hunt or to observe from a closer distance you would recommend 38 and 35? Normally, let's say for in some countries where this is allowed uh, where you can hunt uh, 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 wild boars with it if you're hunting up to 50-60 meters then the smaller model is better because you have a wider field of view. If you are hunting on a longer distance, let's say for a fox on 100, 150 meters uh, or deer, then uh, the bigger uh, objective lenses are better because you get a better resolution, better details. Okay. Okay. I think we answered most of the questions we are receiving on emails. Uh, if you forgot anything, please use the comments or send us an email and we will definitely respond. And normally, please subscribe to our channel.